Now you can see that I've darkened that up and uh, strengthened some of the grey. I've darkened the back of him and I've strengthened around the ears and around the face. He was a little bit fat, so I've used my background colour to go into him in a hairy way. And then I put water around the edge of that so the other edge of them fuzzes out. And that's what I call a lost and found edge. So it's just made him a little bit less round than he was. Um, at this stage, I want to consider whether I need to do anything on the background. Um, I'm not sure whether I do, really. I think I quite like this out-of-focus look. Um, you could put some dry brush on if you want. If you're pale, you could re-wet, add extra colour on. But in the main, um, what you'll be doing is doing some work in the foreground with some dark tones. So I've not really done a lot around this area because I'm going to grow some sort of sprigs of stuff. Oh, that's too fat. So oh, you can do this more carefully because, again, I've got the camera sort of in my way and that can make it like a little bit of a top on some of these. I can strengthen that and look at the shapes in here. I think that might be slightly wet still. Um, it is slightly wet. Not to worry, it doesn't matter. There is sort of a little bit of shadow behind him, so I will actually make a little bit of that just to sit him into that grass, a bit like we did with the squirrel. A few little dark bits here and coming forward and doing more here. His leg probably needs to go slightly darker. Um, and I'll just carry on this effect through to this side. Uh, and then I'll let it dry and I'll see where we're up to. Avoid doing what I've just done there, which is four bits of grass or heather, all the same height, same distance part, bury them, always make it irregular. But you can see now that the rabbit's uh, hair's beginning to jump out. I probably need some more hair in this here. I, I probably need to just look at some of the hairiness within here, maybe dark enough a bit. So I'll do that off camera and then show you what I've done and explain the last bits of the process. Thank you.